damage with a slaughter avenge uh there's a lot of ways for them to melt all of these heroes team dog they don't have the best control it's riding off the back of afu being a beast on the earth spirit now mind you afu is a beast on the earth spirit but there's so much depending on him to get control to get the proper angles in the initiation and they have to play really quick with a quap as well your aim can kind of scale but you're on the risk. Morphling does start to take over. And again, he's got that inbuilt evasion because of the Wind Ranger form. So you're always going to have to worry about battle. that. And really think about your MKB timing for In Your Dream, which is not something that AMs want to rush. But you're not going to have many options here in this game if you do avoid it. Yeah. Just realized, John, uh, Dog Luna was probably upset that Team Dog lost game one. And that's probably why she wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, missed opportunity. What can you do? Getting old, John. I used to be able to come up with these lines very quick. <laughs> As I get older, I just it's either the age or the marriage. One of the two is making me forget a lot of things, John. <laughs> uh, isn't it the beard? Yeah, you're looking a bit aged to me a while ago in the cam. With a beard on. <laughs> Boiling rage. Disappointment. Boiling rage. 30 seconds to battle. Do mm, you know what's bothering me this time around, Mike? No all chat, no good lucks, no no asking for a trip to Okada, no nothing. Just serious business between these two teams tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look, honestly, you know, usually you want to have an early night as casters. You know, you don't necessarily want to drag it out. But when you have two great teams like this and you're in a best of five, you just want every game you can get. The, the more the begins. better. Bring it on. Oh yeah. So, looks like no excitement, so if there's bounty rune, so it can be an even start. Should be interesting to see how these lanes go. Ice 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 and the Viper, again, we've talked about this one, is a bit boring as an offlaner, but he's gonna get some early support. Paulson's down here as well, and of course you've got Afu on his Earth signature Earth Spirit. So it looks like, nah, Paulson bails out. Afu is gonna be uh, working a lot here, right? Like maybe if you want to make a play, you've got to catch out. Uh, these two heroes while well, it's early gabby on the wind ranger febby on that venge you would want to maybe bully out the wind ranger before higher levels of wind run come out so we'll see if they can get that done and the beauty of the viper off is that you just drop the nether toxin and you farm up so not much to worry about here for ice in terms of finding his own farm Let's see what ice can do about this because over in the mid lane armel and arbet going to be going at it and armel copping so much harassment early on this is the uh, generally the deal when you are versus the Morphling, of course. You just put it all um. Ooh, I bet. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I thought Armel would have kept his distance, but ah, but that is a very good scream. Radiant just on the edge of the uh, the scream range. And Armel gonna go down. And I was about to say this is what you're meant to do up against the Morphling is just dish out as much harassment as possible before that level 3 mark. Make sure he doesn't have the ability to strength morph too early on. You can already see Armel just by his movement. He's not very happy about that death. No, it's a costly mistake to make. Abed's going to be taking the slight lead and run with it. Of course, he's got the level advantage now. He's clearing out the waves a little bit better. Our melt's gonna have to play from a position of being behind just a bit. Abed's already got his bottle up, so if he does find the rune down the line, it's gonna be a big uh, help in terms of maintaining this lane. And this is a quap. They're probably gonna have a value point in the blink anyway at that point, so Abed should be able to get himself in position in a timely manner. TNC's got to devote a support to help out, but you can see Armel just ticking down. The spam coming out from Abed's just really costly. He's forced to salve up just to stay here. Of course, top lane as well, John Paulson copying a hell of a lot of harassment on that Undying. In your dreams gonna be there, of course, on the AM. He's gonna be up against Tim's and, of course, KP. Now, I was meant to say this before my dog interrupted rudely, John, but I did love that slaughter <laughs> pick into the AM. I think if there's one hero that doesn't necessarily care about losing all its mana, it is a hero like Slaughter who can still bash you. As I say that though, mid lane, Armel will die a second time. He hit that level 3 mark, but Arben is really giving it to him. Now down towards the bot lane, Febby's gonna cop it. Team Dog, they are not happy this game. A 0-3 to three already to the side of Team Dog. 
very dominant beginning of this game number two. Yeah, they're working their lanes out nicely. They're punishing TNC for their slightly weaker lanes. The only lane TNC's winning out is definitely that top lane, which you talked about. They're still zoning out Paulson and Ender Dream. You know, he's not stopping KP at the same time. Our AM is finding a lot of free farm. So overall, you're not going to be too upset. They need to find some punishment for Abed. They drag Febby down mid, but is that going to be enough? Doesn't look like it. It's, it's just a casual stun. Yeah, Febby does what every support can do. These kind of situations, <laughs> just throw out a stun and run away. Don't go near that Queen of Pain, she's out for blood right now. Still the best uh, Arcana in the game, by the way, the Quop Arcana. Just in case anyone was wondering my <laughs> opinion. Wind Ranger can, uh, uh... She can go to the side, John. I know who the Queen really is. In fact, um, Arbet jumping back in after Armel. Armel's gonna be okay, I mean, he's level 4 now. Arbed has got a one level advantage. Armel, um, oh, that is a panic waveform out. But roll in our food. Ice, ice, ice. Bot lane's gonna tie to Gabby, but my god. They are really giving it to Armel in this mid lane. His third death of the game already, four and a half minutes in. A great rotation up by our food. And boy, oh boy, this is tough if you are this Morphling. You've got a lot of catching up to do, and I don't think you can lane anymore. Arbit's about to hit level 6. No, this is a really risky lane for Armel to maintain. They might want to lane swap or just get Armel into the jungle. He does not have an early Morbid Mask, though, so it's going to be hard to get that farm safe. Nice kill on the Pulse, though, know, from KP. And in your dream, he does have a blink. KP barely has the mana for a crush. Tim's going to chase down in your dream, hoping for a lucky shot if he can reach. His sword is right next to him, but he can't hit him. <laughs> uh, Tim's just poking him up the uh, bottom, John. Just, bow, just poke, 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 and in your dreams, like, leave, leave me alone. <laughs> KP. That's just bump. Uh, it's going to be all right. Everyone's going to back off in your dream. Going to be just fine. Yeah, it's... Uh, Tim's, go back to the bounty. Laying around. Unfortunate for Tim's TNC. They are lagging behind in kills. Two to four, not too bad. Network isn't as rough as you'd expect as well. Just a slight less than 1k lead here for Team Dog early on. So overall, uh, even if TNT were dropping a couple of heroes, they are still maintaining themselves rather well. Their cores are not lagging behind too big. The outlier is really just Armel. Armel's mid lane is just completely whacked. Abed's at six now. He can opt to get the Sonic Wave, go for a kill. Uh, at the least, Armel does have a bottle up, so he can sort of hold himself here, but you probably don't want to fight too hard for these runes. Absolutely not. A lot of caution here from TNC. Now they are feeling the danger that is Team Dog. They've got to just try and hold out. This happened in game one as well for TNC, where they had a bad start, but they were able to catch up just after kind of giving space over to their Morphling. They need to do the exact same thing this game around, it seems. Have trust that Arnold can make it back into this game. Of course, Gabby will probably be the, uh, the space maker on TNC, but speaking of, he's gonna get rolled on now. The break is there from Ice Ice Ice, but it looks like they have not got the control, and now Gabby gonna turn back around with the Focus Fire and the Javelin. Arthur uh, still trying up the Febby. They will get the Venge, but they will lose their Earth Spirit. Ice, however, still trying to go after the Wind Ranger. He is not gonna be able to finish him off. Looks like Arbet even showed up and did have the Sonic Wave up to throw out, but he was not within range of Gabby. They will have to leave him be. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's going to give a lot of space over to Armel on the Morphling, who has started pushing in that mid-tier 1 tower. Get some substantial damage out. Yeah, that's some good movements out from TNC to try and give Armel some space. And that fast jab is really helping out Gabby. But that means then really hard to maintain, but he is finding some kills and all. I, I just... I, I got to keep looking at the mid lane. I mean... Arbet gets another kill onto Armel. I I'm not sure how he's getting it at this point. Armel's level 6 now. I apologize about missing the kill, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just wasn't expecting it anymore. I thought he was fine. He, he needs to bail out of this lane. He's died four times, zero, de zero kills, zero assists. It's, it's just a flat dead morph. He needs to play catch up elsewhere. Looks like they are just going to try... They're just going to try and 
Use him as a space maker now. Set him up as a distraction so Gabby has a good time farming up. The investment needs to pay off, and speaking of Gabby, he's in danger. That he is. Gabby gonna go down. Now Tim's gonna also be in danger. Uh, Fu wants to keep this chase up. They have plenty of damage with the poison attack, and with the last one out from Ice Ice Ice. <laughs> going to be way, with him, way more than enough and in your dream from across the map is just having a laugh to himself as he free farms on the anti-mage just left alone but kp now does have a level advantage but you can't really hope to stop the am this is still going to be a good timing on the battle fury you can get some hits off but paul sends around to heal up and at this point your am is looking to really have a fast timing in the bf though you got to watch that flash farm that's going to be coming out here from Team Dog and TNC. On paper, again, they're not too far behind. It's just a 1k lead for Team Dog, but they have bled a lot of kills. That's a lot of EXP going the way of Team Dog. It's a lot of momentum that's gonna be very hard to salvage, and they really need to find a way to give Armel space. He just doesn't want to lane against Abed, but he has nowhere else to go. Okay, B's gonna be in danger now up at the top lane, but he actually jukes them out quite nicely. Fine. Back over to mid, Armel is just farming the jungle now. Doesn't even have the Morbid Mask up yet. It just, he has no choice in the matter. He's gonna farm wherever he can find it. Uh, that'll give Arbed just a completely free mid lane. To which he is gonna leave that and of course start rotating up towards the top lane. Might just try and secure a bounty rune for himself. Even gets a royal jelly. Radiance top tower is under I mean, he is the queen after all. He may as well get the royal jelly. <laughs> the, looks like he might just favor going after that 10 minute power rune rather than the bounty rune. Swipe away. It's also completely fine. Um, I was going to try for it, but it's actually up at the top lane. So Arbet is going to get lucky with that invis rune. The, everything just continues to work the way of Team Dog this game number two. Yeah, they chill out a bit, not as aggressive anymore, but they still maintain their network lead. They are pulling ahead and farm. Um, you are seeing In Your Dream lag slightly behind Gabby, but this is an AM that doesn't have... Oh that. boy, Armel, he barely survives in the mid lane. That Sonic Wave was, I want to say, maybe 5-10 HP off killing Armel that time. So, uh, you look away for a second, and Arbet is just getting so aggressive. And let's keep in mind as well, it's not like Arbet has a Spirit Vessel right now. That's actually being built onto ice. So, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Team Dog, they are really out for blood this game too. They definitely are. Just playing with the aggression that they can get out. Abed, for his part, doesn't have any stuns to worry about. Like uh, at best, you've got shackles, maybe the bench stun. But so far, none of those here have been able to rotate. And they do find a kill in Paulson, but that's not the biggest trade to go for. After getting so much pressure on RML, you will have to take it though. But it's again not the biggest pickup, but it's some space out for RML at least. Absolutely. In your dream now going to show up and start draining a bit of mana. Roll in, Arfu. He wanted to go on the morph, but instead they'll pick up Febby. They could still try on to Armel, but he should be okay to get out. They won't bother. Armel still standing quite confident on this morphling as now Tim's going to come in with TP. And they kill off Arbet on that Queen of Pain. Just sneaking up from the backside. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And that's a that's a very valuable pickup to get. Radiance bottom tower. Yeah, they bottom. were just standing on that hill waiting for Abba to go in for the rotation and farm. He gets the good stuns off, and that's all they really lack. They lack control for the quap. Finally comes in through KP, and it pays off. They get the biggest hero on the map punished. That is going to put a damper on Abed's orchid timing. Does want it very fast, so Abed's got to be a bit cautious about dropping again. Still is ahead, but they are starting to fall one by one here. Yeah, he's in danger. Gabby going to get a shackles off as well, and a very nice shackles of that, giving no chance over to Arfu. Natural camps working against the poor Earth Spirit, and Gabby be very happy about that. Radiance well, Curry mid lane, Ice Ice Ice. Ice. As the Rod of Atos up, he actually gets Febby's Courier as well. That was the uh, the final components out for Radiance the Tranquil Boots going down there for Febby. He won't mind it too much. I mean, his Courier should respawn fairly quick. TNC, although it's been a terrible start, the net worth is really not that big of a difference. 
No. It's it's still rather even, and that's where TNC is Dyer's still kind of staying in this game. I'm sure Armel's having a bad time Radiant's farming, but in your dream, for attack. all the freeness he had in his own lane, isn't actually shining on the top as well. So that Whoa. farm investment on the AM is actually not as shiny. He's he does have his battle fury. He did go naked, like literally rate band battle fury. That does mean he gets it fast, but now they need to maximize that investment, start pulling ahead. And if In Your Dream gets that space out, that's when it starts to get a bit risky for TNC. Absolutely. Well, Garb Ooh. TNC would love to run into this AM, especially with this blink up on KB. They've got the initiation they need, and In Your Dream, that may have been a, a bit of a problematic blink there. KB now gonna have his smoke broken, does get the stun off, and with the swashbuckle out, Tims is able to secure the kill. Roll in from our food with the tombstone drop. They want to try and get a trade, and they are gonna be able to get Tims. Can they get KP on the slaughter? A perfect roll in from our food should mean they can. He will try to crush away, but it is gonna be no good. And now another roll back towards Febby. They should find a third kill, and they will. So In Your Dream goes down, but they will get three kills in return. For the side of Team Dog, not entirely Dyer's worthwhile for TNC, but at the same time, not entirely bad, considering we are in a meta where it is all about the position one. Yeah, they get the good punishment out onto In Your Dream. If they do, if they just keep applying that pressure, it's going to be hard for our AM to find a space to get that farm he needs. You're also giving space out for Radiant's Armel. Like, while everyone fights, Armel's just sitting back, farming up. And that's exactly what he wants. So you can see starting to get some space out for their pause two and their pause one. We've seen some really fast items being farmed up here by Gabby. For example, he's got his travels up along with the javelin. So the MKB is going to be lined up next. And with the travels, it does become much harder to catch him. And you see this TNC keeping that smoke play up. Smoked again. Dyer, awesome. They are KP on the front lines, but Arbet will be in a perfect position to block off and break the smoke. KP now going to get Viper striked up, so he can't go for the blink. And it looks like Armel is not comfortable initiating without his slaughter ready to go. So instead, they'll leave him be. They got the bounty they wanted. However, Swamp Ice gonna get caught out. There's your focus fire as well onto Gabby. Ice 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 still being targeted here, and he does go down. Uh, Fu, however, going after Febby. And now Tim's. The Rolling Thunder is there. Tim's actually gets himself out of there. Now Armel going after Ar Fu. They'll get the Earth Spirit to boot onto Pulse, and it is, but Armel will leave him be as Tim's. Comes back in with a nice lucky shot out with the swashbuckle, and they want that undying, and they might just get him. In fact, the shackles out Gabby. He even found Arbeb, but they should not have the control for the quap as the blink on KP was not available at the time but suddenly three heroes dead for the price of one a very worthwhile trade for TNC yeah they managed to feed those kills towards Armel as well so the biggest hero that needs that injection of gold does pick them up and now Armel's number two Ooh. let the waves of pain Arbed once again ends up getting Armel. <laughs> oh, he keeps doing this. He he launches the sonic wave from max range, blinks in, and gets the follow-up scream. And every single time it catches Armel with his pants down. Unfortunate, but really good punishment from Abed. And now he's ha he has that working too, so that should be easier to get. So now they've balanced out the losses. They still maintain a slight lead on Team Dog, and they get to push down a mid-tier one. Not as fast as their game one push, but still going to be a push nonetheless. TNC's Radiant's got to move in for the defense here. Under attack. Absolutely. You want Tower in trouble. Tim's going to show up. He does have the Rolling Thunder. Arfu will TP out on the Earth Spirit, so they aren't going to really commit all the way for this. Nice bit of chip damage, but they aren't going to really just throw all their bodies at it. They still Gabby. hold their own T1. KP going to get caught out now by Arbet. And looks like he is set to die. Meanwhile, Gabby also going to die. So both cores going down on the same side of the map. Definitely very bad news here for TNC. And it seems though Gabby actually went for the... Uh, no, never mind. He did actually keep them split up. It said he got a Maelstrom, but in the end he, uh, he did have them locked. I imagine he is still going to go for the MKB on the Wind Ranger after the BKB's up. 
So Radiant all good news there, but see TNC, it's it, it's been a very back and forth game. You look at the net worth graph though, top three net worths right now are on the side Radiant of Team Dog. Are scanning. Yeah, they've just uh, made use of the space really well and they have started to claw that lead back up, but TNC aren't falling too far behind. That's where Radiant's the silver lining is, is for TNC attack. Armel, getting steady progress towards his Manta. Just about has the gold for it. So once you've got that, more stats in your Morphling, more potential to at least purge off the Silence, which might be coming out soon. And it, in fact, is already up on Abed. So he's got a way to avoid the Orchid now. He's got a way to play on the edge when he sees that Sonic Wave coming through. Should give him some padding in terms of getting blown up. But they will make a move onto the Roshan. This is where the lineup really shines. It's that Venge plus Slardar. With all the physical damage you have, the Roshan does not last long. Ice, 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 gonna get started onto Febby. There's your Rolling Thunder out. Febby is gonna die. And now, they're gonna go back in for the Roshan. Team Dog. They say thank you very much for uh, taking out half its HP. TNT, however, they are making their way over. The Team Dog, they're not stopping the Roshan. About a thousand HP left. They're gonna jump in, but they won't be able to get there in time. In your dream, he got the Aegis. Pulse is gonna fall over, not low enough. He is able to walk out. Meanwhile, Febby, a nice swap out. They get our food. They'll get Pulse, and thanks to Tim's. Is that gonna be it? They wanna go for a bit more, and they do spot out Ice Ice Ice. KP also has the option for Arbed, but he is limited on vision. And they aren't gonna continue, they are gonna pack off. They might just try to settle for the T1 Dyer's mid tower. tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. In your dream, that's a very confident blink. But he's not going to be punished for it. Dyer's I just tower realized is something, attack. Mike. Uh, didn't see this, but Armel went for a full build without Morph. So he went for every single spell except Morph. He, we have not seen him turn into the Wind Ranger for Wind Ranger. So that effect is still to come out. I was wondering why we haven't seen anything like that. Of course, he still has to save up for the Ags for that. But, but without Morph, he, he doesn't have that second life to toggle into. He could easily Morph into Abed as well for the Blink. So he's got some options here that he hasn't even utilized. So uh, still a lot of room to grow for Armel as he went for a much more farm-oriented build. I mean, it is... I've got to admit, I didn't realize it either. There it is now, though. He does have the Morph up. I don't really blame him for going down that skill skill build when you think about how many times he died in lane. It's absolutely fair enough. Radiant's now the T1 mid tower is going to be targeted Radiant's by Team Dog. Armel oh, show up there for a second, but won't be able to go for the deny. Arfu uh, will roll straight out of there on the Earth Spirit. Everyone going to be fine from Team Dog. They'll hold on to this 3k net worth lead. In your dream, who is top of the net worth board, is going to continue just trying to snowball on this AM and get as far as possible Dyer's in terms of net worth. And I suppose with TNC, they just feel very confident in their ability later on to deal with this AM once you have this Wind Ranger and Morphling online. Yeah, they, they are... Just waiting for that moment when the silliness or the Ags comes in. So they've got uh, they've got confidence here. They know what happens when you hit that timing. And you can see in your dream, he is once more not going for an MKB. He's rushing the Bash now after picking up this Manta into the Abyssal. So if things get desperate, if they start seeing the Ags more for the Wind Radiant Run once more, I think we might see in your dream forced to buy another Divine. And that's always uh -oh. such a risky proposition. Size, size, size. Gonna be ganked up here, Tim's with the Rolling Thunder, Armel comes in, Gabby will take the kill on the Wind Ranger. However, Arfu is gonna counter-initiate, but a nice swap out once again from Fe Febby. They are still just focusing down Tim's, and they'll also go after Febby afterwards. Has been killed. So they do punish quite nicely here, Team Dog. They still get something for the death on their Viper. They don't quite get a core, but you take what you can get. Radiant he might get something more. Hey B, he was around that mid lane, but he had a quick blink out. Looks like he is going to be able to be just fine. However, Team Dog, they're not really done quite yet. They want to go for more. Looks like nobody's going to be around for them to Radiant's chase down, however. 
of confidence coming out here from Team Dog. They've got a 5k lead, much more noticeable now. It is starting to pile on mainly on In Your Dream, as you see the rest of the course of TNT keeping up with Abed, keeping up with Ice Ice Ice. So it really Radiant's is starting to become that AM game. Uh, in Your Dream's about to hit his spike. Dyer he needs scanning. this Abyssal fast, and I'd say you can't rest on the AM. Like, once you have this Abyssal, you have to fight. You see Team Dog have smoked up behind In Your Dream. They're going to try to make stuff happen here. Okay, B jumps in, does fine in your dream, but they see everyone else but a nice shackles out. Gabby, he got two, but it does not fall off yet. Armel, he's gonna jump in now with the morph onto Arfu. He's an earth spirit, this morph link. Arfu is just gonna try and roll away. Speaking of rolls, Tim's gets a roll of his own now onto Arbet. It's a massive target to take down, but the mana void after him in your dream, not gonna be enough. He's also gonna die. That's the Aegis gone, but Ice 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 is going to reinitiate now with the run of Atos onto KP. They want the Slana dead, they'll get the Slana dead. Onto Tim's, the Pangolier, he's trying to TP out in time. Is he going to make it? He will. Back to the fountain, but he will die there. As the poison does kick in from Ice Ice Ice. And overall, it was a two for two if you want to count the Aegis. Team Dog probably not going to be very happy about losing that mid pop nor the Aegis on In Your Dream. And that may kind of spell things to come here from TNC. Yeah, it took a lot of effort to go in for that. Really messy fight overall. Uh, I think Team Dog are going to be satisfied with how they used their Radiant Aegis there, but it was attack. also not the cleanest break for the side of Team Dog, so you need a little bit more up on your AM. I think the Abyssal is definitely going to be that big spike. With a Basher up in your dream, should feel more confident, although they do jump for more. Viper Strike is there. Baby trying for the TP play up, but the damage from Arbed is going to ensure that they get the kill. Meanwhile, our Fugo is down at the bot lane. Gabby able to pick up a trade. In your dream, however, going to just blink straight in. Gabby is going to pop his own BKB. But out in your dream, but he'll also blink. Just fine, and he does get himself a BKB charge for his trouble. And, well, that was the nine second charge, so it's going to feel quite nice for in your dream. That's a nice uh, freebie force out. Of course, uh, you are with precision, and Armel might just go for Paulson. Yeah, Paulson probably not going to survive, and he does end up dying. Two Tims on the Pango. That's just well, the Axe is officially up now for Armel. They, uh, they aren't going to go for anything silly quite yet. I believe Armel wa might just want the BKB up. But it seems like they're almost ready for the shenanigans to start. Oh yeah. They've, uh, they've got to watch out for that timing. Uh, you still don't have anything to deal with the evasion, which is the biggest issue. But I suppose you have a lot of magic damage coming through with Abed. And he did go for something that allows him to stand there without worrying about the control. He's got the Lincolns up. He's so going for a BKB next, so he understands what TNC will try to do to this Quap. They are still playing relatively aggressive here on the side of Team Dog, playing that opposing jungle, trying to find some farm. Uh, there is still a tier 2 standing that they'd like to take care of. That's going to be the next objective they go for. And they will manage to find the ward as well. That's been up for a while, so should be a bit safer getting this push in. The Vanguard's up now for In Your Dream, so he's just lacking the recipe into the Abyssal. That could be key in them getting control as long as you Dyer's don't allow Armel to shapeshift. It is fine, but he's already on the solid in Wind Ranger form. Here we go. Armel uh, just crosses half the map in about two seconds. And he, oh, in your dream, he blinks straight into it, but the counter spells there. KP, he got the stun off anyway, but the man's going to come out. They're going to jump straight in after KP. The Sonic Wave, perfect from Arbed, connecting on everybody. But do they have enough damage? Armel uh, no, is just going to run the hell away with this Wind Ranger form. Meanwhile, Tim's going to roll straight through onto Arfu and Arbed. In your dream, still on the chase, however. Looks like Ice will kill off Debbie. Now they have found out Tim's. The roll not going to connect with the Silence is there onto Armel. It's a way bigger target, and in your dream gets the bash off an Armel. It's gonna be able to wave form up to the high ground. A very close call there from TNC. Bot lane, Gabby is still being chased down. Arbit, he just TPs down to the T1 tower. TP away. Is it gonna make it? It looks like he will. Ooh. What? How much how much damage? He had a spirit vessel on. Oh right boy. He couldn't heal. Ooh, right on the edge there, Ice. Dropping it in the nick of time. Beautiful. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> that that item, man, just absolutely ruins you. TNT this time, not having a good reveal of, the, of that Ags in the Morphling. So the double runs not working out yet for Armel. He's going to need that BKB stat. And Team Dog just finally blowing stuff out of the water. Abyssal flying out now for In Your Dream. So he is going to have a lot more control on the Radiant's AM as well. And TNC. Uh, they just need to stall a lot more. Like, if you get items up on Armel, it could end up, end up being nice. But this is the point when Team Dog's very strong, and they're not going to relent. They're going to keep Dyer's running at you. You have to be ready for this. Roshan, if you wax him in your dream, who's he telling there? It's going to be Tim's. Technique. You get one. Nice big pick off on the Pango. Gabby about to respawn, but TNC, I'm really not sure they want to go for a team fight right now. Not without their team fight in the Pangalier. Maybe if they find a pick off, they could try for it. But they're gonna have to try for that Roshan as Team Dog, they've jumped in. And that Roshan is not going to take a very long time to take out. In fact, it's going down very quick. It is scouted by Febby with the Wave of Terror. But Arthur going to jump straight in with the Boulder Smash. Giving time for In Your Dream now with the Spinalix. Gabby, he's it. But In Your Dream does get the Aegis. Ice Ice Ice, meanwhile, with the Viper Strike holding on to Gabby. He's just so darn slow. And he will die in the Nether Toxin. Febby trying to get out, but the Abyssal Blade was there by In Your Dream. Oh, and it was so darn close there for TNC, but... Still a bit too far. Team Dog, 13k net worth advantage now. They are looking very healthy in this game number two. Is even KB top lane Ooh. trying to split push, assuming he was alone, but he was not. Ice, ice, ice. He knows how off laners work. And he uh, he finds one out. Even bot lane, Armel's going to be slightly cautious. He will wait for TB, and in your dream, could not find him. Close, but not close enough. Yeah, it, man, that win at Roche really boiled down to Abed getting off the Sonic Wave at the right time to get the pushback. Like, it pushed Gabby far enough that he couldn't contest the Roche, and it screwed him so much. Uh, TNC were really banking on a steal there. Bites them in the bum this time, and the Morphling Windranger, we did say Team Dog had to learn something from yesterday. It looks like they have. They're not taking their time anymore. They're constantly playing aggressive. They, their next step now is to look for these objectives. Go for those tier twos, go into the high ground before Armel can get any sort of itemization beyond what he has now, and you're going to set yourself up for a really nice end game. A TNC, they need to still play that holdout game. They still have faith in Armel, his BKB slowly being farmed up. It is still a recipe away, but you're, you're getting close to that point where the Morphling can just stand and fight. Uh, Gabby, of course, he's had his BKB for a while. His progression on the MKB has stalled out big time. Gonna need to just be a little bit more patient. The recipe is flying out now. He does have a little bit more damage on the Wind Ranger, but it just doesn't feel like enough. It, it definitely is becoming a bit more of the our Mel game at this point. That it is. Top tower has fallen. But uh, I mean, Armel still very, very far behind when you when you look at in your dream on the AM. Radiance top needs tower a lot more time in this morphling. We'll see if he can Diamond get it as now the smoke is up is from Team attack. Dog. They want to head down towards the south and see if they can spot out this morphling, but it's actually KB who's going to be there. KB going to go for a TP away in the tree line. TNC just go back towards their own triangle and well they are just trying to avoid Team Dog. That's the only play they have right now. They are doing a good job of it. It's all they can do. Just keep avoiding, keep farming and hope for the best later on. Yeah, just trying to build up, uh, trying to hope that the Morphling can overcome this deficit. It, it is still pretty bad, as you mentioned. That gap is huge between Armel and In Your Dream. You do have the BKB up in Armel. Maybe this is a turning point for the Morphling. He is going for full defensive item buildups, right? Like after the Manta and the BKB. Now it's going to be the Lincolns queued up for him as well. So there might be a lack of damage, but in theory, you've got this bench, you've got the Slardar who can handle that for you. But look at this, in your dream, he's learned. He's got the MKB, so he doesn't need to worry about the evasion anymore. 
Uh, 4B wants, he says, and yeah, Tim's poor guy, gonna Guardian Greaves up, gonna try for the roll, but the Mana Void is gonna be there. Meanwhile, KP gonna also be in danger as Arbet has found out the slaughter, and that is gonna be a secondary kill out for In Your Dream. Such Team Dog, it is definitely their game to lose right now. So, f so far ahead with a 19k net worth advantage. What's Dota Plus saying? Well, it was in favor of TNC early on, but a 90% win probability right now for Team Dog. I'd have to agree with that. In fact, I'd argue it might just be more. Yeah, it's definitely up there for Team Dog. Uh, TNC, their high ground defense is a bit dicey. It relies on them landing perhaps a Shackles or even getting a good crush with KP, but it becomes harder and harder as they are. Feeling rather squishy. You can see the confidence in your dream. It does have half a minute left on the Aegis. Does nice have... shout in your dream. He counters all the shackles and the Sonic Wave is gonna come out. They are gonna get a wipe. <laughs> they do get a shackles to save Gabby. KP is gonna jump in. Oh, what a counter spell out for in your dream! Radiant's waters are fortified. That is, that just lined up. They, they didn't respect the counter spell coming in. They clump up a bit too well, and that just leads to a disastrous set of exchanges there. They can easily rip through another set of racks. They're gonna go for it. I'd say even a tier four would be nice, but the Aegis does expire, so in your dream is just gonna temper back the aggression. But he does hit level 25 as well, so he's got Mana Void ready to go. Cooldown is a lot lower. He's going to be able to spam that out in between fights. And all TNC can do now is stare. He might not lose the bottom racks, but I'd say if Team Dog were feeling confident, could be easily something they could take. They are playing it safe. And just pull back. So a little bit of respect towards the fight potential of TNC, but that was not the way that defense should have gone for TNC. I mean, in all fairness as well, they still have the, uh, the bottom tier 2 tower to go after. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to rush the t fours quite yet, but I suppose you never know with Team Dog is bot lane. Our bed would be a great pickoff, and they get the shackles. The Viper trying to TP and Ice trying to help out. They've lost our bed. KB just going to TP run in front, but no, in your dream. He will have the Abyssals to cancel that off. And he wants to chase down Gabby. He wants a high five, but I'm not sure this is the time. Gabby in your dream is still chasing, and what a perfect blink out onto Gabby right on top of his head. Oh, but gets a silence off, and Gabby. He'll get his high five all right. Oh, uh, Mel is just going to run away. Radiant's bottom tower. And that net worth lead, John, at 28k now for Radiant's Team Dog. No buyback on Gabby means probably mega creeps to come out from Team Dog. Oh, yeah. Arbet or no Arbet? Yeah, in your dreams, just way too big to handle now. He's got all the items he needs. He's very, very hard to lock down. You do have the Ags on Febby. Just feel it's a bit too late. Racks are just gonna fall here. Oh, Shackle's way off target. Maybe just trying to force in your dream to use the counter spell, but it's such a short cooldown anyway. See Ice 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 with that new item now, throwing it out straight onto the more bar melt. They're gonna focus down the other instead. They want Tim's Pango, but Febby is gonna get the swap off in time. Mana Boy is gonna be there to kill off Febby. Tim's gonna go for the Rolling Thunder, trying to fight this one out with Armel. But do they have enough? It doesn't look like it. The swap is there. It will barely save the Morphling, but Tim's might just be left behind. They root him in place. They want the kill. In your dream, gonna jump in, and he does take it. Still KP, gonna jump in, still going for the team fight. Is gonna kill off Arfu, and now Armel gonna roll back in, but barely misses on Polison. So close with that roll, but it just did not connect. And with that team dog, yeah, they lose an Earth Spirit jump, but they got the Mega Creeps up before they leave the base. They are looking very, very happy for this game too. Yeah, they've, they've gotten all the objectives they could have gotten. Just the tier force and the ancient left, the big one. TNC backs against the wall here. It's really starting to boil down to whether or not Armel can carry you hard. I mean, you've also got Gabby farming decently, but it, it really does feel like it is the Morphling game. Still saving up for the Lincolns. So it's still all defense, and that is something Team Dog will abuse. They are ready to just play aggressive. They've smoked up. There's no Roche for two minutes. They're just going to have to go hunting here. That they are, and they might run straight into the Slaughter, who has to go back for the neutral item. The Stormcrafter may have cost him his life. Arbet does spot him out, but Febby is around. They go for the Orchid, but Arbet will not chase any further. PNC, they're going to try and hold up against these Mega Creeps. See if they can make a comeback. 
they still have the potential for that comeback. It's just going to be very, very difficult. And it's not like you really queue something up like a Divine Rapier on the, uh, on the Morphling pick. You know, usually he doesn't really need the Divine Rapier to be effective. Maybe Gabby picks one up later on, if they can buy enough time. Yeah, so certainly something that Gabby should Radiant consider. He's still saving up for his own eggs though, so that's like 4,200 gold he needs to save up, plus his buyback. It's going to be a while until any major items fly up for Gabby here. And you can see Team Dog again just taking control of the triangle. They know where they have to be. Going to force TNT to clear out a wave and pull back. They can't get much more off the map. Jackal. Oh, Jackal it does latch onto the tree. KB gonna jump in straight after him. They are going after Febby, but the focus fire is there. Ooh. And they do get... No, they don't in your dream. He does survive. I thought he went down there for a sec, but the team fight, it does continue. Arbet gonna jump in now after the wind ranger. Gabby is gonna die. Paulson will also die, but he'll buy back immediately into Arfu, who's rolling to the side. He barely misses Armel. But on the left, Tims does go down. Your dream still going for more. Wants to try after KB, but he's being stunned up. He needs to be careful. Armel oh, no, gonna blink in after him, but the silence is out from Arfu. They don't land the stun, oh. but they got the bashes out. Bebby trying to save his life. It is not enough. Armel is gone. No buyback there. The GG is called. That'll be game two for the team dog. And they do even out the series one to one, which at minimum, John, guarantees us a game four.